For exercise 6.19, the crossfeed stop, I'm going to have you attempt that one on your own first. So stop before you watch this video. Give it your best shot. Go through the um, through the steps. When you're looking at this geometry, I'll, I will fill you in on the things that jump out at me. Um, if you were to draw this as a rectangle across the front, you could include the notch and this would be the right plane through the center could extrude both both directions to 110 then open up a sketch on the back face draw the little tombstone shape extrude it out put the holes in put the fillets on and you're done so all of that sounds easy uh, going through the process though uh, i want you to think through it give it a give it a shot take it as far as you can and then come back and, uh, and watch the video. Okay, so hopefully you made it all the way through and encountered uh, a few successes and a few, well, that could have been betters as we go through this. So I'm gonna fly this out of the way. This is a metric part. So file new, part metric. Also, I'm gonna go a little bit faster on this one um, again, I want you to, to think through the process, so maybe not as much explanation. Just watch the um, watch the steps as we go. And uh, let's see, we'll go that way. Just making decisions as I go. Um, don't really like the overlap, but I will put the notch in. So this becomes a contour and region. All right. And then my dimensions for the overall are 44. Got that a little on the large side. Total height of 13. The, uh, the step is 22. With it being 11 off of the back. Okay. And a height of 3. All right, so when I go to extrude this, extrude boss base, mid plane, 110. And the contour and region will be the intersection, or the inner portion of the, uh, the geometry. All right, and then we come around on back and open up the sketch. And when I do those tombstone shapes, again, I like to kind of just use the rectangle. I'm going to set that uh, origin and the line to midpoint. Otherwise, I would right click and select midpoint, control select the line, and set to, to midpoint. A couple different ways to do that. Get used to the logic of midpoint to midpoint or origin to midpoint to make it work. Um, inner, let's see, we're given a radius of 22, so the overall would be 44. And then I'm going to go up to a tangent arc. And it didn't quite pull the way that I wanted it, so we'll reposition that. And I could leave it as contour and region, but if I make that top line construction geometry, it will fill in or allow it to, uh, to become uh, the single geometry. All right, so height to center is 37. And if I wanted to double check the radius of 22, I could apply a driven dimension. And again, if I just decide I want to leave it driving, that's going to put me in an overdefined conflict state. So can't have both. I could delete the 44 or make it driven. And then my feature, now oh, I see the question, do I want to include the 16 diameter? Sure, it's not going to be that big of a deal. So click, click in this case. That gives me the shaded diameter of 16. Now when, um, when I extrude this out, because it's a singly nested feature, there's only the hole in the center. Extrude, we'll make sure it's going the right way. So not going the right way. Um, depth of 11. And reverse the direction, make sure it's going into the part. And then we have the, uh, the shape. So the large radiuses. And actually those called out. Oh, yeah, just um, 
kind of in the, the haze there, the 22. All right, so position-wise, diameter of 11, oh, 33 off of center. Okay, we can do that. Um, I'm going to forego the, uh, the whole wizard this time and just draw two. If you want to mirror, we need a center line. I think at some point, maybe this version, maybe next, we could mirror across the right plane, which would sort of make sense. But uh, when in doubt, put the center line in. 33, diameter of 11. And notice that they're moving and changing together because of that symmetry. And then 22 off of the back. And then that should cause it to go fully defined. Features, extrude cut, through all, except. All right, so we had the radius of 22. We're going to see how it does going across the, uh, the notch in the bottom. So it just kind of pushes it back. All of the rest of the radiuses, no, we have a couple more radius of 10. All right, you do want to be careful selecting the face because everything gets a fillet when a face is selected. Radius of 10. And then the remaining fillets and rounds are for three. So one there, one there, one there. Go into the fillet, three millimeters. We see kind of the picking, uh, picking edges doesn't look like it carried across the back, so you go ahead and select it. And there is our crossfeed stop. And then we save it. Six, uh, double checking, 619. All right, taking it into a drawing. Uh, I've been opening up a new drawing. Uh, there is the make drawing from part, which will take it in. We'll ask us for the selection still. Uh, I mentioned earlier the custom sheet, so 11 inches, since it defaulted to millimeters. I'm gonna make sure to put that I in for inches in. And then that took me into the feature palette, and I wanted to get a little better placement. So the front view will be automatically into a projected view. So the right view, the top view, and the isometric view. All right, so since these are pretty straightforward and the design was off of the, um, off the existing drawing, oh yeah, let's look at how it... Um, if it fits on the one-to-one. -one. And most of the, uh, the dimensions, or all of the dimensions, were taken off of the, um, the sketch. Uh, let's go to custom scale, and we'll send that one back to one-half. All right, and then model items. All right, I didn't mark anything for drawing. There were no critical dimensions, so we're just gonna bring in everything not marked for drawing. Oh, and I was on selected feature. I need to be, uh, I got most of it. All right, so since this was in metric and we're in an inch drawing, then we're gonna need to place these as we go. And that one's interesting. <laughs> there we go. Nope. Um, let's see how it looks on the leaders. See if we can get it to go the other way. No. All right, so that one has some cooperation issues. <laughs> so it's trying to pick up the circle. All right, gonna have to look into that one. And notice that didn't come over all the way, so. I'll pull it back. Oh. Give it a little more room. 
Well, and I don't have anything to put in the modify boxes, so. All right, so overall, it's a quick, uh, easy way. Do not count on it being that clean and easy when you're doing the design. All right, so I uh, hope you uh, were successful and got through that one on your own. We'll do the uh, the template next. And again, these drawings at this point are, are optional. They should be something that you are interested in, want to want to do, participate. Um, not a requirement if you're running short on time. Um, just kind of watch the process and then go on to the next exercise.